The Honest Woodcutter, a Nepali folktale. This is a story that has been told to children for many, many years. It is said that once, far in the east, there was a small village on a mountaintop, cradled by the Himalayas. In that village, there was an honest, hard-working woodcutter who was very poor. Early one morning, the woodcutter went into the forest with his axe to cut firewood. He would sell the firewood in the market, and with the money, he would buy food for his family. So he went into the forest, and as he walked along, he came across a tree branch on the ground next to a lake. Looking at the dried up branch, he thought, this will make fine firewood. It is just what I was looking for. So he started to chop the branch into firewood. And as he swung his axe, suddenly, it slipped from his hands and fell into the lake. As the woodcutter saw the axe disappear below the surface of the water, he started to worry and looked for help, but there was no one around. He tried to go in the water, but he didn't know how to swim. He didn't know what to do next. That was his only axe, and without it, he could no longer cut firewood to sell in the market, and that meant he couldn't buy food for his family. He needed his axe, but there was nothing he could do to get it back. This made him very sad, and before he knew it, his eyes filled with tears and he began to cry. Luckily, there was someone who was listening, for this lake was like no other. It was a magical lake where a goddess lived. Hearing the sound of crying on the shore of her lake, the goddess appeared before the woodcutter, standing on a lotus flower. I am the goddess of this lake. Tell me, woodcutter, what is the matter? Why do you weep so? Surprised by the sight of the goddess, and quickly taking off his hat as a sign of respect, and wiping his tears, the woodcutter said, Oh, dear goddess, I dropped my only axe in your lake, and I don't know what to do. But surely you could buy a new one in the market. Oh, goddess, I am a poor man and can't afford to buy a new axe. Without it, I can't feed my family. Well then, we must find this axe of yours. Let me have a look and see if I can find your axe. The goddess disappeared and very soon came back. In her hands, she was holding an axe. The axe was made of bronze. Here, this must be your axe. I'm sorry, goddess, that is not my axe. I see, are you sure? This is a very nice axe. The woodcutter nodded. He was sure that wasn't his axe. The goddess disappeared a second time and reappeared again. This time, she held a silver axe in her hands. This surely must be yours. I'm sorry, goddess. That isn't my axe either. Again the goddess vanished and reappeared. This time, she was holding an axe of pure gold. Is this your axe? I'm very sorry, goddess. That is not my axe. 
Mine is just an ordinary axe. This time, the goddess appears before the woodcutter with an ordinary-looking axe in her hands. Is this the axe you are looking for? Yes! Oh, yes! That's my axe! Oh, thank you! My dear woodcutter, it makes me so happy to know that you are an honest man. So I am going to give you all of these axes to reward you for telling the truth. May you and your family be happy. That evening, the woodcutter and his family stayed up into the late hours while the woodcutter told his amazing story. Before long, he was able to buy farmland and a new house, for now he was a rich man. You might think that is the end of the story, but the very next day, the woodcutter's neighbor heard the story of how the woodcutter had become rich. Now the woodcutter's neighbor wasn't poor like the woodcutter had been, but he was greedy and wanted to have the same riches as the woodcutter. So he decided to take his axe and go to the lake. When he got to the lake, he threw his axe into the water and pretended to look sad and shouted, Oh, what am I going to do now? That was my only axe, my one and only. Soon enough, just like the woodcutter had said, the goddess of the lake appeared before the neighbor, standing on a lotus flower. I'm the goddess of this lake. What is the matter? Why do you shout like that? Oh, goddess, I lost my only axe in your lake, and I don't know what to do. Oh, surely you could buy a new one in the market. I'm a poor man and can't afford to buy a new axe, and without it, I can't feed my family. Well then, we will have to find this axe of yours. Let me have a look. The goddess vanishes and reappears with a bronze axe in her hands. Here, this must be your axe. Goddess, that is not my axe. Mine was better than that. I see. The goddess vanishes only to reappear this time with a silver axe in her hands. This surely must be yours? Amazed to see what is before his eyes. I'm sorry, goddess. <laughs> that is not my axe either. My axe was better than that too. Again the goddess vanishes and appears this time with a golden axe in her hands. Is this your axe then? The neighbor, seeing the axe of pure gold, was no longer able to contain his greed and shouted out, Yes! Yes! That is my axe! I see that you are not an honest person. In fact, you are a very greedy man. I will not give you what is not yours, nor will I help you find your axe. The lake goddess vanishes for good this time. Before he realized what had happened, the goddess was gone and the man was all alone. Now he had no axe and there was no one to blame but himself. As with all good stories that are told over and over again for many, many years, this story has a moral. And that is this, telling the truth is its own reward. Mm -hmm.